How cute are those guys walking all together? Jackson and Calvin are walking with Grandpa. <laughs> As we get ready to go. Don't you point me? Yeah. Oh, I mean, no. You're going away. Do you see it? Okay, do you see that building being built right there? Do you see it? As we have been driving in town, we have noticed this new little building being built. There's not very many new buildings being built, and so <laughs> what is that? Most of the buildings closed down in our I town. I was hoping it would be like a zoo buzz, or a fun sandwich shop, or a fun like, like a fun a healthy little shop to go in and like have a nice salad for lunch, because we don't have like that many places around here. Guess what's being built there. We have been, I am excited. We have been driving around town trying to figure out what it is, and Joel told me yesterday. How does he know? He knows everything about this town, Ellie. He should run for Congress. Joel okay. knows everything. So, he and I were in the car, and he told me yesterday, and he told me the place, and I was so excited to tell Ellie. What, was he excited? Yeah, but he doesn't know like how cool this is for us. This is the place that Ellie and I would go to at all hours of the day when we were in our first apartment, it was like our comfort food. And this place was good because when Julie and Landon used to work in the nursing home, when Julie was dating Landon, they'd come home at like the 1 a.m. shift and they would bring us this and we would all eat it together. And that's, they, I love it. They are building a, a Del, Del Taco! Taco! Yes! I was so excited to tell you because I knew you would be so thrilled. I can't wait to get my tacos on. At three in the morning even. Oh, Yay! I'm so excited. Are you sure you don't want me to come in with you? I don't really, to be honest. Okay, that's... Should I say that in like a loving way? It's okay, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's it's different for me, but yeah. I'm okay with it. I hope, I hope everything works out. I love you. Okay. Let's, what what things should we um, um, um hormones on three. <laughs> one, two, three. Hormones <laughs> Love you. Oh don't do it in my car and walk out. Oh she just what is that covered wagon me? She's cute. I like her a lot. Alright, Tommy, it's just you and me, buddy. He's gonna get hungry very, very soon. So we're gonna drive somewhere probably comfortable and then I'll feed him. Um and then at least at about 45 minutes to an hour for this appointment that she's going to. Okay, so let's let's have some real talk, shall we? Let's let's get down about this conversation because I I have some things I want to say. So if you guys didn't know, um, Ellie went to this doctor a couple weeks ago to have her hormones checked. Ellie's had her hormones checked before, and she was on some thyroid medication to balance out her hormones. Um, and I feel like it helped. I feel like it did pretty uh, pretty well for her. And it, um, she went off of it because according to the doctor, things look good and she didn't need to be on it anymore. Lately, Ellie has been feeling um, not the best. You've noticed that she's felt tired. She hasn't had as much energy, um, desire to do things, you know, just kind of down in the dumps really. And I don't feel like it's just or limited to postpartum depression. I really feel like there's um, something going on there, like she mentioned, and it, it, it's always good to get things checked. It's always good to have these things looked at, and if there's something that can be done, to look into that thing. So she had some blood work done and everything, and this appointment that she's going to is going over all of the results of that blood work. Now, Ellie, this is the first time that Ellie's never had me go to an appointment with her when I've had the opportunity to do so. Through all of our kids, most of the appointments I've gone to, um, to support her and because she would like to have me there and I would like to be there. Um, whether it's about the babies, whether it's about blood work, anything like that, I've always been by Ellie's side. And this is like one of the very first time that she specifically asked me not to come. And I feel like it's because she's nervous about the results. Um, and I hope that's not the case, but that's kind of where my mind is going. I can't imagine how frustrating it might feel to have the emotions that Ellie's going through right now and to have the appointment and then to potentially be told that nothing's wrong, everything looks good. Um, I think she's nervous about that. And I think that's one of the reasons why she didn't want me to come. Um, and just wait until she has everything there. At least that's what I think. So I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping things work out really well. Um, that there is, that there's more to it than just, I'm not feeling good. You know, I hope that there's more to it than that. That we can start looking in the right directions to get um, Ellie feeling a little bit better 
for herself. That's what I hope. What do you think, Tommy? Do you hope that? So Ellie, we're rooting for you. We're thinking about you every day. Love you. Can we see both of us? So. How did it go? The reason I didn't want you to come with me. Yeah. And it's interesting because he said it before I even said anything is because I didn't want you to come in and everything be fine. Yeah. And me feel stupid. Yeah. I knew that was a big worry for you. And I would never. But that's how I felt. I just thought yeah. it's going to be everything is going to be fine and it's just going to be Elia's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's why I didn't want you in there. I totally understand um, that. And I like wrote notes. I like can't wait. It's weird. I can't wait to call Landon because <laughs> there's so many things that like he will with school and stuff. He said we are rebuilding my gut. Whoa. He said he went over these. I said okay, these are low. Mm -hmm. Are these abnormally low? Like, and he said, yes, you're not even producing this or this. He said, oh, absolutely. Wow. And I said, so I've been feeling this way for a long time. I've had anxiety for my whole life. Yeah. And he said, you don't get to zero overnight. He said, you've probably been dealing this with since you're 15. Jeez. And I said, now I took a lot of antibiotics from 15 to 18 for acne yeah and he said that caused a lot of some of this stuff you never took Accutane though right no and yeah. he asked that and this is I've learned so much from him I love him good like I do like we just sat and talked I was just like there's some people I'm you so just love bad. anyway so thyroid he said if I were to go into my doctor he said your doctor would have said you are normal mm -hmm. and would have sent you home that's what happened he said um, this is a hormone specialist. Mm -hmm. He's a doctor. They check your T3. Okay. And he said 375 is okay. They'd prefer you to be 400. He said mine was 290. Wow. That would be totally the irritability. They to... drew a frowny face next to it, Ellie. <laughs> I know. I know. So that is totally like I am anxiety, irritable. Like, anyway, so there's that. So my iron levels, it he was hoping they'd be 150, and they are 39. Whoa. Um, I, that, those percentages are way off. Very off. Um, I do have hypothyroid. You're, yeah. So he has me on medication now for mm -hmm. that. Good. Um, my basal temperature was low. Right. So. And like I could, when you were doing your temperature. See, you never said anything. Because I didn't want to. Like I didn't want to, I noticed it was like, two degrees lower than normal. And it's been getting lower from the time he had me do it. Anyway, they're supposed to be much higher. When he saw that, he was like, oh yeah. And I, I didn't also want to say anything because you have been weaning Tommy off breastfeeding and I didn't know if that would affect that. Yeah. I told him that I was weaning him off because I've been so tired. I was like, I produce a lot of milk. Mm -hmm. Like he's been eating like good. Yeah. And I said, but I've lost so much weight. And um, and I said, I just can't afford, I don't want to lose any more. Yeah. And he talked about that too, going forward. Um, my iodine, I'm low on, so there's that. Um, he was happy with my DHEA level. Mm -hmm. He said my cortisol level was okay. That's good. Oh, you got a smiley face there. Yeah, and my, fat, my fasting blood glucose is great. Mm -hmm. My insulin is good. He said vitamin D. He goes, everyone says thinks that's like a vitamin. He goes, that's an actual hormone. Yeah. And it's a hormone, um, you know, baby blues, um, winter blues is a real thing, seasonal depression. Um, and he said mine is very low. It's a 29. And um, it should be like between 60 and 80. When we lived in Finland during the winter, because it was so dark, they would have a lot of the people take vitamin D pills. I just feel like it's almost like when we went in and they're like, oh yeah, PCOS. Like we were happy mm -hmm. because it was a final, it was like an, an answer. Yeah. And I feel like that's how I felt. Like I just sat there and I was like, okay, like I'm not, Do you, like, I, don't like know I know I was like, wait till I get to more. I feel bad. Like I am kicking ass. <laughs> taking names it's because true. I feel like crap and you've been doing so much still and I'm just trying my hardest and you're doing great like like you're producing great things while you're feeling terrible 
is what I mean. Well, and I feel like with Bali, like, I, it's you, Joel, and Bonnie, and I'm, like, on the tail end trying. And everyone knows it, and everyone's been gracious about it. But it's, I just, like, I can't keep up. And I'm just trying. And I, you know that. Well, do you want to hear what else he has to I say? Do. I want to We're hear not it even all. to the best part. <laughs> progesterone. Okay. That is an absolute zero. I am making no progesterone. Wow. That's progesterone insane. is a very powerful mood elevator in women. When a woman is deficient, she is more apt to be very um, depressed. If she's still menstruating, which I don't even. Um, Progesterone is a low, insomnia is common. He asked how my sleep was, and I said, if my kids sleep, I sleep, <laughs> yeah. so that's fine. Um, mood swings, anxiety, panic attacks, miscarriages. All those boxes are checked. So I make no progesterone. <laughs> he said 0 0.1. <laughs> He's like, it's like barely there. Yeah. So I make no progesterone, and I, and I make not hardly any testosterone. Mm -hmm. And those are the two things that he was concerned about that we're going to work on. And now this is interesting. The testosterone. Yeah. He is six foot tall and he weighs like nothing. He's super thin. And he said he was at church one time and a lady stopped him and said, hey, you're on, on low testosterone. And he's like, what? really weird why are you saying this we're at church anyway like leave me alone whatever yeah. he said he went to her office the next day they started doing stuff and he gained 40 mm -hmm. pounds in four months and he said that is why he does what he does wow and i said i can't keep weight on me i've mm -hmm. lost 10 pounds in the last 10 weeks like i'm sad that i'm not nursing him like like I can't like if I keep nursing him I'm going to weigh 90 pounds right like I can't anyway so that made me feel good like he's like you're not making testosterone either <laughs> I'm not yeah. making progesterone or testosterone like no wonder I feel like shit, you know so he's gonna work on that um <laughs> and he said he said we could cut this too if you want but he said if your husband was here he said I would look at your husband and I would say your wife loves you. Your wife is tired because she has kids. Your wife is tired because she has no thyroid. And your wife is tired because she has no testosterone. And it's not because she doesn't love you. I never once doubted that. I know that, but like that, like I'm just so tired. And like I didn't even want you to come because I thought like okay we're gonna go in and he's gonna say I'm fine and I'm gonna sit there and feel like crap well and that's where it's like I should be there and I know that to you want to hold you to you love want. you to comfort you like that's I'm with you through anything I know I love you and I love you but some testosterone and progesterone would be nice <laughs> That's a bad joke it's at a, a bad time. Joke. I'm so sorry. Okay. But who's calling me? Can't you tell she's hormonal? He said that a lot of people that come in are on like, you know, antidepressants yeah. and anxiety stuff. And I said, I've never been on that. I said, but I was either going to do that or do you like mm -hmm. come to your doctor's office. Yeah. Like I've just, I just don't feel well. Like I'm just, I'm just flustered. Yeah. And so he was glad that I had it. He asked if I was been on Accutane. Mm -hmm. And I said that I was going to, remember? Yep. I was going to, and then I just thought, no, I won't. I, I and told you not to. And he, right. what makes me sad is it's, he's like, zero? I make zero progesterone? They put me on progesterone so I wouldn't miscarry him. Right. Like, that's probably why we miscarried twice. And that first time. But he was saying how he didn't love that everything, 16 year old girls are on antidepressants. 
when they shouldn't be. Right. They need to be checked their hormones first, and doctors don't check hormones. Right. When I went into my doctor, he said I was perfectly healthy, but I'm not healthy because I don't feel healthy, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. They don't check your hormones. At and they least base to the degree. you on a yeah. huge scale. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't wait not one more dang second to call and to get in. This has been a long time coming. And no wonder I felt like crap for years. And even worse now. It makes me, it breaks my heart that like, I could have, it's, it's weird how timing is. Because like, I wouldn't have had him if I didn't have my miscarriages. Right. That's what's, uh, it's hard for me to comprehend. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have my miscarriages, I wouldn't have Tommy. But if I would have had my pro freaking progesterone, I may probably not have had the miscarriages. Right. It's just, it's very deep crap. Well, and it's like. It's very deep. How, how different would you have been throughout the past 10 years? Yeah. If you had progesterone, if you had all of those other things where you were lacking, like Ellie, you have to give yourself credit for kicking butt. But this, this is far. why I've been telling you I can't anymore. I know. I that know. has been the only thing I've been saying lately is like I can't mm -hmm. do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful and happy that this information. It's like. Wow, this sucks because it's so bad, oh. but I'm so grateful that we have a path, a resolution, a, a, a road to go down. Yeah. You know? He said he gave me a C minus, and I laughed, and they said, my mom's gonna be so proud of me! <laughs> I passed! My mom's gonna be so proud of the C minus. C oh. mom? C's get degrees. <laughs> um. Jared yesterday had a wonderful date set up. He got a hotel, we were gonna do this cute video, and I had an absolute mess of a morning, and I said, I can't go, like, I can't. And I feel like that was hard between us. You were graceful, Jared's perfect to me. <laughs> you were good about it, but I know it hurt your feelings. It, it hurt my feelings, but do you, do you wanna know what, like, there are more important things, there are bigger things that are on the table that need to be taken care of first. So I'm just so happy to put that aside to put you first. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, but I told yeah, Jared it sucks, I know, but, but I told Jared yesterday, I said, I just can't go. And I feel like you were having a hard time getting like, it wasn't because I don't love you and I don't want to go spend time with you. I physically can't pack and I can't get out of the house and I can't go, mm -hmm. I can't and I'm done. And I feel like I have been fighting through my emotions and my tiredness and I've been fighting through it for so long that I just, the last month, I've just, I can't. I've been saying yes to people at church. I've been saying yes to people of doing uh, meetups and I've been doing the, all these things that I want to do, but I've been pushing through it and I've been saying no. And it's been good for me to say no. And I can't. I am weak and I'm tired and I'm just trying to take care of myself and keep him alive. It's true. <laughs> like, I can't and I'm grateful that you've been good to me about it. And I'm sorry that we couldn't go yesterday. And it's okay. And maybe here in a few months we can take a trip and really enjoy it when I'm healthy and happy. Because I can't enjoy a trip if I'm not healthy and happy. Okay? Okay. Okay? <laughs> this is so hard. Like, it's hard to bring everyone, like, Gosh. along. Well, because I feel like I could have used this after I had Calvin. He said, you have zero progesterone? He's like, that's that's been slowly going down since you were 15 years old. After I had Calvin, I was a depressed, hot mess and I was begging for help and I never got the help I needed and I fought through it and I remember making a video bawling and then feeling stupid about it after because people were very gracious but people were also freaking rude and I don't care I'm grateful for the wonderful feedback but I don't care if people are going to be rude because I just am not healthy 
there's a reason I feel this way and I'm not just lazy and I'm not just weak. It's because I am freaking not making anything. Right. I'm going to get on some hypothyroid medicine. I just feel like... I'm going to get better and then I'm going to be happier. I am sorry it's taken so long. I feel terrible that it's taken us so long to do this. Like, why couldn't I have suggested more? Why couldn't I? I tried to, I think one of the things is like, yeah, I'm good at making people feel good and feel happy, but that's, it's surface. It's not like I was looking towards you and being like, let's get your hormones checked. Let's do this. Well, I was I just trying to know to do that. But the thing is like, I was just trying to make you happy in the moment and that's not lasting. You know, there was more to it than that. And I wish I could have been there for you for that. I feel like it's been hard lately just feeling like I need to do stuff, like I need to do work, I need to I need to film, but it, it sounds so easy to pick up a camera and film, but I haven't been able to do it, and I'm probably just gonna continue to just do whatever I can do and not stress my body don't, right now. Don't push yourself more than you have to. You know, don't do more than you need to. A drink a Coke from McDonald's. I don't think there's any um, thyroid stimulating hormone in there or progesterone. I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm happy that I... You should have seen his face. Was he like, did he was like, He wow, sees this I'm all the you... time. Because uh -huh. I said, I said, I said, now these are low. You see this all the time. I said, but is... Do you look at mine at all and think, oh, it's low, or think, oh, you poor, like, abnormally low person? Yeah. And he said, the thyroid is low. He said, but these other ones are abnormally low. Gosh. He said his wife came in, so I'm at a 290. His wife came in and was at like a three something. He said, your thyroid is very low. Well, you got a bag full of goodies. I know. When do you start? He said they're shipping my medicine to me. He said his goal is to not have me on medicines, but to naturally heal me, <laughs> except for the thyroid medicine. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just iron, iron supplements, my iron shot, probiotics. Yeah. Anyway, so I have some medicine and I have some vitamin stuff and we're gonna figure it out he thought it was mind-boggling what we do at the very end he's like now what do you do for a living and I was like <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. are you sure you want to know I've never heard of the green girl smoothie he said he just did a podcast with her uh -huh. I'm gonna try and find that podcast and I'm gonna try and link it I'm gonna watch it first before I link it anyway but that's that's I feel good and I feel like crap so I love you and I love you. I just, I wanted to just naturally film this for you guys. I hope this is probably weird all over the place. You guys have been with us a long time. If you've been with us a long time, this is how we do things. This is a really long video. We're going to end it. Does it, does it feel? What? <sighs> does it feel like the very first video? Oh, yeah. Because like. we were in our car. <laughs> it's weird. When you are not doing well or when you can't figure out why you can't get pregnant or you figure out why you're so damn depressed but you have the best life ever, that's what is hard, especially with social media. But you have a good life. Yeah, I have a good life. Because we work our me. butts off and because oh. I married a Jared Mika. <laughs> yeah, we have a great life. But it doesn't mean I'm not happy and healthy. I'm not happy and healthy. Yeah. I'm happy. I have a one... But I'm not, it's weird, it's a weird thing. Tommy, you just, he just got it. There we go, thanks. So, it does feel like our first video. It's different, it's hard to share, but I also like to share because I hope that there might be a teenager girl watching that's 16 years old and is debating on getting on, on Accutane, which the number one side effect is suicide, and you're depressed because your skin isn't beautiful, and that's a hard thing. I felt that before, but don't do it. Go to a hormone specialist first. Try and figure out what's going on with your body. Try and level your hormones out first before you 
get something that surfaced. Ellie, you're 15 years old. My mom was trying her hardest to try and keep me feeling happy and healthy. And so we go to a dermatologist and he suggests antibiotics that I was on multiple times a day for five years that ruined my gut. We're all trying our hardest and that's why we do YouTube. That's why we're doing what we're doing is to hopefully help someone that's watching. This may be a really long video and a long winded video, but we're just trying to maybe put a little taste out there for someone else to get help too. And I couldn't wait, not one more dang day. I sat in bed and I cried and I thought I am happy. I'm happy with my life. I'm depressed. I am sad because I don't feel well. I'm sad because I have no energy. And so we're gonna get it fixed and we're gonna take care of it. And luckily I have a good husband that's really good to me. And if you don't have a good husband, then you should find a new husband. <laughs> find, find a support group. Find someone who to be there for you. Or find a new husband. <laughs> I don't promote divorces. We just talked about that. Work through it. But I am glad that I have you. And I'm just going to say goodbye so we can just go spend the rest of the day together. And Okay. I love you. Love you. Love you, Tom Tom. You are our miracle. Mm-hmm. All of our kids. They are. They are miracle babies, aren't they? But you got blue eyes, so you're our favorite. Okay, <laughs> bye. bye. Goodbye guys, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.